smartphone manufacturers have been pushing the boundaries and quite literally with the smartphone displays. Everyone is trying to build a smartphone with a design that can have full edge to edge display without any distractions for you to enjoy those YouTube and Netflix sessions and let you have immersive gaming experience. OEMs have tried a lot of things lately. Some went with smaller bezels and some chose to have those display cutouts, infamously known as display notch. Amid all of this, Xiaomi was trying to solve this problem a bit differently and came up with a very unique design for their flagship smartphone, Mi Mix 3. With Mi Mix 3, you get a full edge to edge display with a minimal chin at the bottom. So you get access to the maximum uninterrupted display possible on the smartphone. And uniquely, they have hidden the front facing camera behind the display. Slide down the display and there you have it, a dual selfie camera. This mechanism is held together with the innovative use of two powerful magnets behind the display. And Xiaomi claims it's going to last you for at least 300,000 slide downs, which if you put in perspective, would last more than a few years of use. I have been using this device for past a month and I must say that what Xiaomi wanted to achieve with this device, that is fully uninterrupted display, has pleased me a lot in my day to day use. Now this device is not competing with any flagships out there, rather it was built to carve a niche of itself by introducing a completely new form factor. So I am not going to rant about lack of IP68 rating or a lack of stereo speakers. Because this device is not about all those things, it's rather a step forward in bringing you closer to an ultimate smartphone design. Xiaomi has gone the extra mile with the unboxing experience of Mi Mix 3 as well and they have bundled a fast wireless charger in the box itself. This will help you experience the joys of wireless charging in addition to a protective case and a fast wired charger that is in the box itself. Back of this device is cut out of ceramic and ensures that you get a complete premium feel when you hold this device. It features a dual camera setup and houses a fingerprint scanner at a very good place. But it can't stay this shiny and glossy all the time and is a fingerprint magnet too like any other glass tech device. Xiaomi has not cut any corners in terms of hardware too. The device ships with Snapdragon 845 and you can get a RAM of up to 10 GB on Chinese versions. But on a global version, the one that I am using, that ships with a 6 GB of RAM. That is not less by any standards. The display is a 1080p AMOLED panel and produces pretty balanced colors. Camera performance is just average at best and I don't know how DxO Mark gave them a such a high rating, which was much above than the Pixel 3 itself. I was barely able to get any decent shots with a stock camera on this phone. So I went around the internet and hunted for a Google camera port for Mix 3. I found that and now I use that as my primary camera app on this phone. Battery capacity on this device is 3200mAh. And yes, I agree, the first impression you get with this size is that it might have poor battery life. But let me tell you, I am constantly getting a 5 hour screen on time and full days juice out of this phone without breaking a sweat. No matter what others tell you, Xiaomi has optimized the software really well to give you a good battery life. In fact, I scored better battery results than I got on my Pixel 3 XL. Maybe it's also because Xiaomi ships the Mi Mix 3 with a 1080p display and not a Quad HD one. This all helps the cause, right? Performance wise, this device has fared really well for me. Software is typical Xiaomi and has tons of bells and whistles under the hood. Comes on board with Android 9.5 for starters and gives you so many tricks to play with. For example, the remappable dedicated hardware button which is defaulted to Google Assistant, but you can choose and set it to do something else for you. Or the main attraction, the slide down display is not just for selfie camera. You can decide to open a certain app with every time you slide the display down. My main gripe with the software was the lack of the app drawer. I am not used to let all my apps float around multiple screens. So I cage them in these little folders in certain categories. I thought these categories made sense to me and I've just bundled them. So that's just how I addressed the lack of the app drawer. Otherwise the software feels pretty smooth, it's pretty lag free and it's very interesting to have these different kind of features that Xiaomi ships this phone with. Xiaomi has made a very bold move and according to me it has paid off really well. Packing such amazing hardware together with such a unique design and all that at half the price of other flagship phones is a complete winner in my opinion. Value for money is really great here because you get something unique, something new to experience 
at a very affordable price of just around $500. So if you want to experience something different than the notchful world of smartphones, give Mi Mix 3 a try. Apart from an average camera, there is very little for you to complain about this device. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit a like if you did and subscribe if you want to see more of my creations. Thank you for watching guys. Cheers.